everybody, and today's video is my January favourites, and I'm so excited for my January favourites. I always, I never do every month for my favourites, but I always have a January one because January is after Christmas and after my birthday, so I always seem to have a lot of things that have been presents or that I have had vouchers for and I've bought um, for things that will be my favourites. So I'm going to kick off with my fashion favourites this month and the first one is this coat. So this is a green, a, a grey long line, I think that's what you say, long line coat. It is just, oh, it is the, the best thing ever. If you've been watching my vlogs you would have seen this on me and my vlog that is going up the following Wednesday after this video goes up and you will see it on there. This was a Christmas present that I picked. It's from FNF Tesco's and I absolutely love it. It's just so nice and long and it's got um, two buttons to do with the front. It's got nice pockets and all nice sleeves. And it's so nice for a nicer coat because I don't have any nice coats. So yes, really loving this. And the second thing for my fashion favourites is also a, a Christmas present. And it is a belt. Now I love wearing my high waisted jeans, the high waisted jeans are what I live in when it's not work and this, being a plus size girl, woman, it's hard to find belts that actually fit my waist so this is from Tesco's and as soon as I found one that fit it was plain black with just a nice buckle I thought it would be brilliant to wear for jeans and then tucking at the top like I am today and wearing this white top that tucks in so I'm going shopping later on today and I'm actually going to be wearing this and I love it. So that's from FNF Tesco's if I didn't already say. Now for jewellery I've come into quite a few bits with it being my 21st birthday. So first thing is this necklace which I will try and show you a close up of. Um, so I've got, I'll try and show you a close up over here somewhere. So this necklace was actually chosen by me and it's from Pandora and it's from my mum. My mum got me this one. And then the other things is my stackable rings and I just I love these rings so it's like I said they're stackable let me take them off so we've got the two so we've got two of these outer rings they go outside of the ring and one's they're both from Anthony's sister so one's from one sister and one's from the other sister and then Anthony got me the main ring that goes in the middle and it is just a silver diamond and uh, like in a tie knot I think that's what they call it, a tie knot so these things are brilliant for wearing separately I mean look how nice that looks just by itself and then I've got the main ring which I like to wear separately for work so it's not too glitzy and then for the weekends I stack them up quite nicely because Anthony's sister actually works in Pandora, these are from Pandora um, so she gives loads of hints and tips and things that can look good together so that was thanks to her. I have one favourite for my skincare this year, this, this year, this month and it is the number 7 cleansing brush. I have been wanting this for over a year actually now and I never, it was something I never wanted to buy myself it was on my Christmas list last year and I didn't get it and it's on my Christmas list this year the black Christmas list this year and it was a present from my mum again this is one of those presents so everybody sees these cleansing brushes they are absolutely brilliant for skincare because I'm lazy with my skincare anyway so all you have to do is put your cleanser or a face wash on here or onto your face and then just use this to buff it around and it's got three different settings so there's pretty slow and a faster one so sorry two settings um, yeah, and I really like this, so it, it constantly goes on offer if you're looking for a cheaper cleansing brush that still works brilliant. So my one perfume is actually the present from Anthony for Christmas. It's, <laughs> I've been wanting this for a while too, and I'm super excited to finally have it. And it is the Stella McCartney Stella perfume. Now this is the original, I believe. The original Stella, this is 50 millilitres. And I love the bottle, I mean, just look how picturesque that looks, it's so pretty and it smells great. It's a, I'd say it's a nighttime date night, 
party kind of scent. It's not an everyday one. I won't wear it for work. I won't wear it for like shopping today. I would wear it for going out date night. That is what this smell reminds me of. Ugh. It's so good. Got three makeup favourites and they all come courtesy of MAC. So I've um, got two lip products and this which I'm going to start with and this is the Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm in the shade Light Plus so a lot of YouTubers talk about this, it's just a powder. Oh look at that reflection. Um, and I wasn't really into powders for a while but I'm really enjoying this so. Um, I, I've, I think it's Anna who talks about it a lot from the Anna edit. That's where I picked it up and I'm in the same shade as her I thought so I went for that without trying it. And yeah, ooh. So the two lipsticks are two what I've wanted for a while as well. So the original lipstick, this is Brave and this is a satin finish. I love the satin finishes. I love this colour. It's a, like a rosy pink kind of colour. It, it's a lot like syrup. I think it's a bit more pinky than syrup. Syrup's a bit more purpley toned I think with a blue underlay. So I really like this one. And the second one is the Lip Intensity and this is in shade Doe. I've got two of these now but this one I absolutely love. I'm wearing it today and it makes my lips look so much bigger. Um, it's just that it's so different of a colour for me because I go for my pinks and this is very much a brownie nudie colour and I think it really suits me so. I've also got one app favourite this year, this this month, and it is Calm. And if you can hear the waves, oh yeah. So as you can imagine, it is a calming um, app that you can meditate to, that you can fall asleep to. And you, they have like little stories on it. Um, so I went on the sleep bit, and you choose a different story. And I started listening to one and within about 10 minutes I'd fallen asleep and I woke up the next morning thinking I don't I don't even remember how it finished, like I didn't even finish it so the next night I tried to listen to it again because I actually really wanted to know how it finished and like, once again I fell asleep so I was <laughs> really struggling with staying awake till the end of these stories because obviously they're working because it was putting me to sleep. So this calm app I will put below because I absolutely love it. I think it was, um, who talked about it first? I think it was Brogan from Brogan Tate. So the app, the story I listened to is called The Secret Lagoon. It is so relaxing. Like, let's just listen to the first bit. Would you like to hear a bedtime story? If so, snuggle up in bed. Get nice and comfortable. And when you're ready, close your eyes. Many people... Right, that's why you hear him. Because, like I said, it'll put me to sleep if I can't really listen to it. Oh, and it's a free app as well. So my last favourite is actually what I've got all my favourites written. And this is my bullet journal. Now, I know bullet journals have been a huge thing for... by year now, I think, aren't they? But I actually started my maybe two years ago and I didn't get quite get into it until last year, I believe it was. Like, I started to use it a bit more. Um, so it took me a while to figure out what I liked and what I didn't like. So in my 2017, this is by far my favourite page. This is my year in pixels. This is all about my mood every day. And I actually did it. I actually filled in every single day with what my mood was. So as you can see, blue is like really crying upset and as you can see it's only a couple of times and mostly these times have been when I'm ill. Um, you can see as well towards the end of the year there's a lot more red which is super happy. So that just shows me that since we've had a house I've just been so much happier everyday life. So. I'm actually going to do a video on my bullet journal in mm, February actually, this month. I've not filmed it yet, but I will get filming that and it will be up in a couple of weeks. So I'm really excited. This has got 2017 and my 2018 in just because I didn't want to buy a whole new book when I still had over half of the book left. So, yes. 
And that is it for my January favourites. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you next week. Bye.